We'd like to wish you a happy, happy birthday. Well, I want to say thank you to everybody. Well, thank you. It's been an honor to be with y'all all year long. Yes, sir. <laughs> the year went too fast, but I got to know you all very well on a personal level, and it was great. I cherish this year. It was a very challenging year for me personally. Uh, but the class really gave me something to look forward to. It pulled me through the tough times. And of course, the acquisition of the school was a blessing as well. And thank you to all of you. Um, and it's not the end. Um, it's not the end. I just got to take some time to regroup a little bit and uh, plot our next step. Yes, sir. Uh, but to let you guys know, one of my immediate thoughts, and this is not uh, etched in stone, it's just a thought. But... Um, while I was in Africa, Hanera was there with us as well. Um, we came across a uh, chief, traditional ruler, and they have a program where they're trying to give away 5,000 free acres of land. Wow. But of course you have to pay for the processing of the land, the surveying of the land, so forth and so on. So I'm looking at purchasing several acres for the FDMG Africa campus, and I'm looking at having a select group of brothers and sisters who I trust to also uh, match the amount of acres that FDMG purchases. So if FDMG purchases 50, then the other brothers and sisters will purchase the other 50, so we would have 100 total. Mm -hmm. 50 under the control of the school and the other 50 under the control of our community with myself as chief. And so what I think I'm going to be doing is for all of you who are in this class, and then I'm going to look at the six different Africa trips that I had, and I'm going to select brothers and sisters who I trust who accompanied me um, on those trips, uh, such as Uncle Jeff and others. Uh, but I have to look through the list because it's been six years, so I don't want to leave nobody out. And so between the class and the brothers and sisters I select from the six different tours I've taken, we will make up that village that actually goes forward with the purchase of the land. Now with you all having been in the course of Pan-Africanism this whole year, one of the reasons why I think we're gonna continue our group study together is because when we do finally get the community in Africa, I'm gonna to need to trust some of you to orientate brothers and sisters on the continent to Pan-Africanism, to Garveyism, so they can be crystal clear on what it is we stand for, what we live for, what we die for. And the only way you'll be able to do that effectively and accurately is if you know the information. So all of this was not in vain. It was not just about you learning it. It's about your ability to turn around and teach it to other people. So that would be the next phase. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at doing. And that's gonna be a very, very serious step. And I have to be able to trust you in order to make that step. Cause we only get one time to make a good first impression in Africa. You don't get a second one. So there can't be no coonology in you, no nigger to none of that. We got to go over there, you know, with the right with the right frame of mind and with the right energy. Um, so that's what we're looking at. So we got the Delaware project, obviously Wilmington, and then we got the Africa project. Right. And I need diehard Pan-Africanists to help push the program on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. But um I need to announce that within the class, obviously, there's always an outstanding student. And in our class, the one person, and all of you did well, but the one person who really stood out in terms of their commitment and their seriousness and their presentation and their study and their academic excellence was Sister Sheila. And so in addition to the... Uh, yeah. And so in addition to... Um, the certificates that will be given out to those who pass the class, she will get something special. I don't know what that is yet, but I want to honor her for her academic excellence. Um, I wish she could have been here tonight. Maybe she'll come. We don't know. But um, it's just been a good, it's been a good time. Uh, but I like to go around and just get a few words from all of y'all <laughs> about your experience. And it, it could be about the academics, but it could also be about the family itself. You know, as brief as you like or as long as you like. I'm going to start with Sister. That's the ancestor. That's, that's the, that was Garvey and Menelik over there. All right. 
And these is child support candles over here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but nah. That was Garvey and Menelik. That's my mom, the 45. She gave birth to me. Love you, mom. And these are for my two daughters, these candles over here. My eldest daughter, Anissa, who's 17 years old. Love you. And my baby girl, Selah, who's eight years old. Love you. So I'm going to blow those out for them. But not just yet, because the Instagram is rolling. So I'm going to start with Tiff. What words you might have? Best experience I ever had. The best. Oh. I, I, there's no words that can tell how much I've learned this year about myself and about my people. Um, taking this course took my dedication to Africa to a new height that will I will carry for the rest of my life. Um, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about my ego. I learned a lot about my ancestors. How humble, how they had nothing but did everything and we have everything and yet Collectively, we do nothing. So I've learned a lot, and I will take this with me for the rest of my life, Ashe. Ashe. T-Rock, Philadelphia. Yeah, man. Uh, man, there's so much that I, I took from this class, to be honest. Like I said, um, when I first started, you know, I really didn't know what to expect from you. You know what I'm saying? As, you know, a big, big name and all of that. But I met a couple other people, you know, with big names, supposedly, or whatever. But it's like... This class was serious. Like you could tell, like you're really into nation building and actually making better people out of Africans. You know what I'm saying? Like you yes, actually, sir. you exposed us to some knowledge that, like I said, I grew up in Philly and second in market. I didn't even know they was rolling slaves through there. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that type of stuff right there. It's it's, it's what they don't want us to know. And knowledge is power. Implied knowledge is power. And giving us that knowledge, so uh, all I can do is thank you, Doc. Oh, man, powerful words. Detroit's oh, finest, C-Rock. Oh, man, uh, <laughs> it did a lot for me. Uh, coming from, like, an environment, even, you know what I'm saying, living in California, that we're always been kind of Nat Turner-ish, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying, so... Me trying to put, you know, the pan Africanism in the Nat Turner, you know, as me being always on the, the offensive, you know, and more of the hands-on type of uh, uh, pan African guy. It kind of helped me with the with the process and the, the knowledge, and just from historical site to historical site, um, kind of a building and like of a, you know, understanding what a, how a pan African family will probably will be like, understanding our, our ups and downs. And his course and his family and um, it, it, it did a lot for me. It did a lot for me. Uh, I learned so much. I learned a lot in Philly. Um, it actually helped me, inspired me more to. And I ended up joining UNA from it. Also, uh, my next step. It also influenced me, which I think is going to help me great. Is when I trying do my transitioning into the Bible Shanti Rastafarian. When the probably in a, in a year and a half. Yes, sir. So that's my next step. So I feel like I can take that and um, when I go towards that way, and and, and they're already kind of like they're they're fond of you already. So they they already you know speaking to me like, oh man, you know we, oh, you, you was under that teaching. Oh come on over, we get you together. So, uh, and, you know it, it did a lot for me. Like my my life, as far as just like I said, um, I was in a different place before I got here. And I'm in a better place now, so it was like it was more like life changing. I understand like the like you kind of taught me patience. You taught me this is how you treat women coming from a household where I really didn't have no father. So understanding how you know I, I should speak to women, start calling them out of their names and referring to them as queen, mother, and queen. So I have a different respect for women and, and ladies now. You know, especially the African women more so and. Understanding the difference and, and the visib uh, invisibility of, of, of race and the cool, you know, understanding that to love my own first, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm, I'm forever grateful. Oh, man, that's powerful, brother. Dr. Shauna, <laughs> Jersey. Why are you more position? So, what I got from this class, when I first signed up, I came with a clean mind because I, I believe in giving everybody their opportunity, everybody their chance without judging anyone. 
But what I knew most importantly that I love your style. I love, because I like to teach. I love to teach people. And I love to study history and put it in a way that's understandable to people so they can grasp it. And I saw that in you. I like your fire. Some of the things you said made me say, oh, Lord Jesus, let me go. Oh, <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but, but, at any moment I had, I always defended your rhetoric because what you say is solid. It is research-based. Even though people don't like it, some people don't like it, that's, that's dumb because they're uncomfortable. So I knew that if I was going to learn anything about pan-Africanism, if I was going to learn anything about who I am as an African, I wanted to learn it from you because you were unapologetic about everything that you do. So I came here with a purpose. Everything I do in life is with intention. And I came here to learn. And it was some time just getting to know everybody, different personalities. I was like, oh my God, am I gonna be able to do it? Because I'm such an internal person, I'm such an introvert. But I was like, oh God. You an introvert, since when? <laughs> I am, I am an introvert. I roll alone, I do a lot of things alone. I am an introvert. And um, I loved it, I loved everybody. I got to know people. And when I look at everyone in this class, I see them as my African brother and sister. I don't see them any other way. When I hit up the visions, yes, I'll do, I'll pray on it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't persuade me otherwise. It just makes me love my people even more. And even when you know, people call me Nigerian and bougie. And all, that stuff, <laughs> Shut up! all that other stuff, I love it because we're all different. Yeah. We're all different. We all bring something unique to the circle. So the best thing you could have ever done for me, I can't speak for everybody, was put this together because in this struggle, we're transforming the minds of yes. our people. It is so difficult. It is so hard. And when you feel like you're the only one doing it, it's easy to want to give up. Mm. And being a part of this keeps me going. Even when I get the little trolls on my page, all the negative energy people on my page. Oh, yeah. on Fly New Big Queen, I get all the little haters. Somebody just asked me today, she said, you ain't no real doctor. Bitch, I will smack you my face. I've learned not to attack back. Right. I've learned to see them. Because y'all know, I know how to clap back. I've learned, <laughs> <laughs> I learned to see every last one of them, even my trolls, as my uninformed brothers and sisters, mm. and I have to lead by example. Mm. And you have helped me to do that. To mm. lead by example as being an unapologetic African. Powerful, Queen. That was powerful. Dallas, Texas, and the. Well, <laughs> you're at Texas. Um, Frenchie. All I can say is I'm always searching for answers. That's me. I'm, I'm always self improving myself. And um, I'm always searching for things. And I ran across your video. So told Jeff before, and um, I was dealing with my son, and some things you were talking about, I just went completely mad, because I was like, where have you been? <laughs> I saw you a couple years ago, I've been able to fix some things. And then I uh, saw so another video, and you was talking about Garveyites, and I've heard that before, I didn't know what it was, so I started Googling, oh yeah, the man with the hat. <laughs> I started researching, hey, oh, I wonder if the you and I are still, is they still moving? So I kept searching, no one was in Texas. I was search actually for about six months. Mm. And our Facebook popped up, and he was in Louisiana. Uh, he emailed the guy in Louisiana, and he got back with me immediately. Powerful. And he called me like maybe five minutes later, and then we hooked up. We just missed him. Mm. We hooked up, and uh, really nice guy. Um, but the only thing is, everything was slow. Gotcha. So uh, I wasn't moving. Nobody was moving. <laughs> so, of course, I kept doing my little research, and boom, one of your little flyers was up. She was starting on the class and said, bam, there it is. Wow. So I didn't know exactly what to expect, <laughs> but I knew it was going to be something good. Signed up, you responded, and then next thing you know, I'm here. Uh, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I hung in there, didn't quit. Um, it has definitely helped me uh, put some things together. I actually thought it was something I just started and realized, no, this journey started long, long. Mm. All the way from being in school, mm. witnessing things, now I know why some things were happening, mm -hmm. and um, almost got in the legal system, mm. knew something was wrong with the legal system, mm. and taking this class, figuring out what's going on, going, oh, okay, now I get it. So 
it was a blessing, and I hope I can be a blessing to someone. I was actually wanting to start some business in Africa. Oh, man. And you brought that up. So yeah. Perfect. Powerful, powerful, powerful. God bless you. Indeed. New York City, Queen Mother Samantha in the building. Talk to us. Dr. Umar, our class was for a year, but I've only known you 15 months. <laughs> I'm the newbie. Some people here might have known you for years. It's, I felt like I stumbled upon you by accident. Not accident, but I wasn't looking for somebody I never heard of. And I saw a YouTube video, and I was really impressed. Like, who is he? Where did he all of a sudden come from? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, after that, I started watching other videos, seeing if I can find you other and other um, videos. Mm -hmm. One of the videos said that you were starting a class submit an application and tell me why you want to enroll and based on that you would you know accept the student and I prayed I was like I hope he lets me come to this class <laughs> <laughs> and I put in my application glad and I thought oh, it might take a long time for him to get back I think you responded two or three days later and said I was accepted I'm like yes um, I came to class with extreme nervous energy. <laughs> extreme nervous energy because I felt like it was going to be intense and I would meet diverse personalities and I didn't want to clash with it because I am opinionated with certain views that might turn <laughs> people off and I didn't want to come to class and get enemies or non-friendships behind right. belief systems. So I met beautiful Africans, my colleagues, my classmates. I learned a lot from everybody. I thought somebody like me knew everything, but the things that I needed to know, I had no clue. And that was your course. And um, I stuck and stayed, and um, um, I have to be the example, mm -hmm. taking it to the, taking what I've learned to the next level in terms mm -hmm. of my loved ones, my family, my children, my grandchildren. Things we mm -hmm. did in this class, I plan on doing with my family. And um, nervous energy is dealing with me right now. That's but, um, all right. A life, the experiences that you gave me, as well as the class and collective, but the experiences I got from it is like for this lifetime of joy. And um, I'm going to keep on until the day I am no longer here. Mm. The principles and everything that I learned, mm -hmm. I'm changing my vocabulary. I'm calling mothers, queen mothers, mm -hmm. and kings, and I'm using the word ashe. Day one, I heard everybody in the class, ashe, ashe. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So, till the day I die, Dr. Omar, I'm going to practice these principles, life principles that I learned here. Mm -hmm. I sure. And I love you. Oh, uh, love you too, Queen. <laughs> oh, and now we coming to my Philadelphia sister, Sister Sabrina Johnson in the building. Talk to me. You know, I'm a 
you know, what else is out there? And then all of a sudden, I saw one of the <laughs> YouTube videos, and I said, hmm, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I said, well, well I just seem like, you know, making a lot of sense. You know, because, I mean, originally, I, you know, I, I'm as dumb as a doorknob. But, but then I start, you know, like, okay, it's another video, and then there's another video, and there's another video. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm watching this, this guy, and he's, 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 he's making sense to me. And my, my twin sister was saying, well, why are you looking at this, this guy all day? I said, well, he's making sense to me. And then all of a sudden, you know, you uh, said, okay, you're going to start a class. So I said, okay, cool. Let me, uh, you know, write my little autobiography. And, and send it in. And then when you responded, I was telling my sister, oh, I got the golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but needless to say, you know, the, the, the rest is history. I mean, talk about uh, the way to teach, you know, African people. I can imagine, you know, you doing FDMG and the, the way you taught us, you know, you showed yes. us, taught us. Um, you know, it's, it's like I've never had this in school, not even in college. So, so I'm truly grateful that um, I went through this experience, and I'm saying to myself, well, okay, if I can learn this way and and really, uh, uh, you know, benefit from the class, I can see, uh, you know, first graders, second graders, third graders. If given this opportunity, I can say, wow, this is powerful. Because not only are you changing the the you know the condition of the grunts, but you have that opportunity to to really, you know, get to the minds, you know, of, of the young folks. And I said, wow, imagine if, you know, not just this class, but the entire, you know, uh, FDMGs all over the all over the place, you know, franchises. I mean, I mean, I can just see it, you know, because black folks, we know how to feel vision. He said, white folks, they can't see anything beyond, <laughs> beyond you know, football, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, so powerful. So, in a nutshell, I am happy to be a part of uh, this uh, new Dr. Umar. I'm happy to be a part of these awesome, I mean, these are some awesome uh, ladies and men. Uh, you all know that. But anyway. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. She just playing. Okay, I just playing. Just playing. It is such a blessing to be a part of this group. I'm telling you, I like, I like as far as I'm concerned, I hit the jackpot. You know, the is with, with all you ladies, and that's for real, for real. So, um, so you know, I'm, I'm happy to you know, be a hard, part of this moment in history. And I uh, know that I, you know, I'm still a spring chicken, but you That's know, right. I know a, a, a little bit more, and I can share with other people who, who were, were uh, still kind of dumb as a doorknob like I was. You know what I mean? I'm you not insulting them. them. You must not see the negative about yourself. Words yeah. are powerful. You are yeah. not dumb. Yeah, I mean, but I wish I knew this when I was in first grade. Right. Yeah. I mean, and I can imagine the, the, the children, the first graders now, mm -hmm. You know, at, at least, you know, they're giving the opportunity of knowing who the heck they are. So, so I'm grateful. Thank you. Wise words. Mrs. Detroit Jules is in the building. Dr. Umar, the one and only. I want to start by saying I am grateful. I am grateful for this year and the years that preceded it. Um, working with you and a few other organizations and with family and friends when you come to Detroit. This year has been um, rich and rewarding. I learned a lot about others, myself, and this concept of nation building. Probably the biggest thing I've learned is that we still got a long way to go, but I'm looking forward to the journey. Stay up. Ah, well said, Jules. <laughs> Pittsburgh! Um, hey, you are an excellent teacher. Um, I really have enjoyed my experience, and I'm looking forward to the next steps. Ashay. 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 Sister Pilar, Philadelphia. Peace, Dr. Umar. I, um, I, I remember when I, I was on YouTube and just looking around and, uh, and I kept seeing his name, Dr. Umar Johnson, all the time. And this one day I just said, let me check out this Dr. Umar. That's just how I said, let me just check out Dr. Umar Johnson. So I checked out Dr. Umar Johnson. 
picked you out when you were talking about the different types of men, the predator, and all the different <laughs> types of men. I was like, wow. And I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> yes, indeed. And so, um, but for this past year, it's been such an incredible experience, and I just am so very, very grateful for everyone I have come, you know, have met and come to love them. And, uh, you know, I just have such a different respect for my people now. And, and, um, uh, and I am, am just so enriched and so humbled by the, um, the opportunity to be able to grow the way I have. And the traveling and the reading and all the things that we've been doing have just added to my life in such a special way. And uh, like my favorite book was Message to the People with those 22 lessons. Mm. Um, the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, he gave you exactly what to say and what to do in these situations. Mm. And that really helped me a lot. And so um, I'm very, very glad about that. So thank you for letting me be on your team oh. for this point in time in history. I'm so grateful again. Thank you again for changing my thank life. Thank you, goddess. Thank you, goddess. I'm coming to Gail in Texas. Gail! What you think, queen? Powerful. Harrisburg. Hi. Um, <laughs> so uh, in this her place, we flesh, flesh that weeps, last, flesh that dances on bare feet and grass. Love it, love it hard. Um, Toni Morrison recently transitioned to an elder, but she really um, captured black life and what it meant to, to love us and, and be about us. And so um, with this course, I think it, uh, my view of revolutionary black, you know, uh, figures and, and pan African and stuff has expanded in that it's not just like this militant figure that you think is just out here on the streets and, you know, uh, using rhetoric to just rile things up, but um, as a people, uh, we're collaborative, we're creative, you know, we connect um, and we get it done. So that's kind of evidence of at least beautiful people uh, and beautiful Thanks. minds that we've, um, <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that you assembled. So, uh, I am not surprised, um, you know, at where we are today in a sense of um, what you have, uh, or what we are now witnessing as far as what you've invested in. Um, you've been doing this for for years, um, and being able to see you in a capacity different than just on screen, I think is, is really a, a beautiful thing and something different that most people don't get to see. So uh, if you're ready, um, you know, and you're varied, so um, I appreciate that. Thank you, um, and thank you for loving us hard, sacrificing hard, and um, just giving of yourself uh, unselfishly. Thank, thank you. you. One, more thing, one more thing. If he teach the children of FDMG and ADAG half as well as he taught us, as every, every graduating class is going to be a blow to white supremacy. Donate, 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 please. Mm. Because we have to do it for ourselves. Self-determination, Ashe. Oh, Ashe. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Reality Shy Town is in the building. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I just want to say thank you. I'm kind of emotional about this right now, but I just want to say thank you. Um, happy birthday. Um, thank you for being patient with us, for being uh, understanding, for being so sincere. I think uh, one of the most impactful things that I learned in this session was. Uh, Marcus Garvey was talking about self-actualization mm. and the power in that. And that, that one particular thing has always uh, resonated with me. And I feel like this is a door for me uh, to self-actualization. So it's been a lot of sacrifices. It's been a lot of um, discipline, obedience, and, and things that I just had to wrap my mind around, um, given just, you know, personal things and just the entirety of the scope of what this class is. This, this class is priceless. This um, meeting these different people from all these many different walks of life, it's been priceless. The experiences, the good, the bad, the ugly, the lows, the highs, um, channeling the frequencies, knowing when to pull back, when to come in, you know, understanding myself. I've learned so much about myself in this process too. Um, and how I need to grow and, and develop. I first ran into you uh, through my homeboy, uh, Justice, at the Culture Connect, 
he asked me to organize a, a movie viewing for him. Mm. And um, the turnout was bananas. And I remember uh, having my team and we were going around, we were taking surveys about what they liked and what they didn't like. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody ranted and raved about you, but silently as I watched, Spirit told me that I was gonna work with you. I didn't mm. realize the capacity. I didn't realize that I'd be sitting here in this moment, in this space. And so I think about that and I'm just so thankful for having the ear to hear that call and to be obedient because learning about my ancestors and stuff that you've broken down, it is just, it is overwhelming. And I can't imagine uh, what they walk was like, even understanding the information, but I know that I have to do more. I know that I have to always be um, focused and diligent on just trying. Because if I'm active and activated, I don't have to know how it's gonna finish. I just know I need to be present. And so that's what I've learned from you. I, I think that your walk is just absolutely um, destined and purpose. Like, I know what you do just from what we see. You were born to do it, and I just, I want to say stay motivated and stay encouraged. And I'll keep you in my prayers always, and I love you as well. I uh, love you too, sis. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, the cake, burning up the Pretz cake. Ah, that's for my babies. I need to say my daddy love you. And so we got... Sister Hanera, look at her making a grand entry. She's something else, ain't she? Um, you know, Doc, you are an amazing man. Um, I think that for all the people that are looking, they need to know the type of dedication and um, uh, just dedication that you have to this work. Um, I think maybe your sound bites sometimes give a certain perception. The videos give another perception. Um, but being with you one week in a month for the last 12 months has given us all our own perception of you. Mm -hmm. And just to share that perception, um, you know, coming in, he said it would be one Saturday a month from 8 to 8. Right? Mm -hmm. So we were all prepared for one Saturday a month from 8 in the morning to 8 at night. So we came from all over West, East, Midwest for this one Saturday from 8 to 8. And do you know that the first class, he, he laid the foundation. And if you guys are listening on this live, everybody is laughing because they know what I'm about to say. So the very first class, Dr. Umar started with a message to us at like three in the morning. Good Garby day, everybody. <laughs> uh, you better shut up. You better stop it. And it was like, be on time, do this, do that. Parking is this way. He was on it, right? We got in there. We had our name tags. We had our folders. We had the agenda left. He started with libations. He brought in, you know, he, my body, spirit, total encompassing this man. You don't get that in the big, right? Set the tone. He set the tone in the beginning. Mm -hmm. He set the tone in the beginning, right? And so we did that class from eight. He got a tour bus, took us all from Philly, right? We saw where he was, went through school, did this, did that. We, we did all of that. He gave one of the best lectures there that I, I think we've had, right? That was a really good lecture. Yes. We got to know Absolutely. each other, and he set the foundation. But that wasn't it. We went out to dinner, then we toured. He walked with us for hours in Philly, right? In the rain. In, in the, the rain. rain. <laughs> so three in the morning. We didn't stop that night. That night. <laughs> Until three in the morning. Yes. This man gave us 24 hours of his energy, mm. the first class. And why do I say that? Not to brag, not to boast, but to set the, he set the tone mm -hmm. and to give you a perspective of how he's poured into mm -hmm. us month after month after month. This particular weekend, the last weekend, the last Saturday that was supposed to be from <laughs> 8 to 8, <laughs> it started on Friday morning and here it is Saturday evening. That's your and that has, you know, he, he just, he gives us all of his time, mm -hmm. right? And it's not just the Fridays and the Saturdays, so it becomes 
from one day, now it's a full weekend that he's given us his time, his energy. Don't forget the conference calls. We got the teleconferences that <laughs> he gives yeah. us, right? You <laughs> better <laughs> shut up! We haven't even talked about the study club now. This man is a scholar. If I'm not, if I'm not uh, correct, he has eight degrees. Is that right? Six. Six. Six? Oh, same <laughs> thing. <laughs> he, he is a scholar. Do you understand all the curriculum? I have a library that I can pass down to my children. My daughter on the Ghana trip was asking me, but what? What books I should read? What this? And I said, baby, we got it at the house. I got this. You can start with Garvey and Garvey. You can start with philosophy and the Pope. Yeah. I have it. Why? Because this man equipped me. Right? I. It has been a blessing and an honor to learn at your feet for the last 12 months. I thank you, thank you. for all that you've done for all of us. I thank you for... Um, Everything that goes on behind the scenes um, that has to be managed in order for you to be here and be present. Um, because you do that effortlessly um, and you come into class with a five page test. <laughs> <laughs> you bet! You shady! You shady! That's like the white. Like, you a shady! Ah, she. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was powerful. This, this cake is amazing. So what? I got, I got to cut the cake, right? At least the first slice is so pretty. I don't even want to. We got pictures, huh? Let me snap a. Y'all take a picture of this yet? Anybody on their phone? T Rock. He burned up the camp stuff. Shut up. Y'all got any ice cream? Yes, sir. Oh, man, what kind? Your favorite. How y'all know I like pineapple corner? We do our homework. Uh, <laughs> who y'all been talking to? <laughs> <laughs> you better not call my baby mom. I'm going to kick you. <laughs> Oh, goon knife. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a triple layer. <laughs> All right, y'all gonna have to help me pull it out. Ah. Where them forks at? See, I normally don't take them birthday cakes before the day of the birth, but these people are so special. I got to take the birthday cake four days early. All right? Ancestors, don't be mad at me. It was all for a good thing. These are the good people showing me love. This is a vegan cake? Yeah, it's from, it's from your caterer. It's from where? The sister who did the, uh, the caterer? Yeah. It's delicious. Take me a piece. 
Ha 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 ha! See that? Nah, I don't want her to do it. She, ain't even, I know you would do it perfectly. I want her to do it on purpose. And there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's my door. Mm-hmm. Um, but let me get this up first. Wait, this on her Instagram, Instagram, it's okay. I Heart Chef. That's a lot. Okay. It's Nicole. That was a lot. Oh, man. Strong. <laughs> you got the dogs out there. Yeah. Like yeah. It's summer. Big boy, German Shepherds. <laughs> German Shepherds. Uh, Boxes. Boxes. Greyhounds. You better tell them, say it out loud. It don't matter. Oh, you're not going to take nothing? Why are you passing on the cake? That's time. It's one leg of body fat. I'm not doing it. Libary.com Wednesday, get on out there 11 o'clock tour, 2 o'clock tour 5 o'clock libation 7 o'clock town hall What y'all been talking about? 